Greetings fellow pipe smokers, welcome back at the legendary green table for another episode of the Vintage and Retro Pipes series. The pipe I'm going to show you today is this one. It is made by Rook Pipes. It comes in this wonderful orange box, the legendary Create Your Own Aura box with a pipe sock. And here we have the pipe. This model is called Kusmanek. This is a historical reference. As you know, Mr. Brook is located in the town of Przemysl in Poland. And during the First World War, when there was no Polish nation, this town belonged to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And the town was, or the fortress that was located there, was besieged twice by the Imperial Russian army. And the general defending the fortress, mostly with Hungarian soldiers, uh, was Mr. Kuzmanek. As you know, uh, Przemysl is the Polish Saint Claude, or Saint Cloud, as the Americans call it. Most of the pipe makers of Poland are located there or around the town. And I think the pipe making, pipe smoking tradition dates back to the Austro-Hungarian times. And the grave of Mr. Kuzmanek is around 50 minutes from my hometown. I could go there by feet and I will have to take a look for it. And as you probably know, my grandfather was born in a village that belonged to Germany and after the Second World War also fell to Poland. So there is both a family and a historical connection for me to this pipe. So let's take a look. We start at the bit. It has a horn bit and of course this is a retro pipe. It was made clearly with the intention to resemble a pipe of old. So a horn bit is absolutely fitting. It also has a reason why horn bits disappeared from the market. Good quality horn is hard to get, difficult to work with and for the smoker it soaks up liquid, it gets brittle over time, it gets tooth marks quite easily. So for daily use I do not recommend horn bits, but for such a pipe it is the perfect choice. It is screwed on, this cherry wood stem. The cherry wood stem, as you see here, these squares, seem to be tool marks. But they are not only on this pipe, they are on all pipes of the series. You also see it in the web shop by Mr. Brook. I don't know if it is intentional or if it happened by accident. Anyway, they are here. And as I told you, you see it in the pictures there. So, a decorational band with two wooden pearls on it. Unfortunately, this is something modern pipe makers don't do any more decorational bands and something you hardly see nowadays. So it's a nice touch that they still put it on their pipes. You have a reservoir made of briar wood, sandblasted briar wood it is. As you see, there's a little cut here. And of course, it didn't take the highest quality briar for this part. After all, it is sandblasted. Here we have the stamping. You might not see it. It says Mr. Brook Kuzmanek, the shape number and a little anchor. And I couldn't find out why they used the anchor on this pipe. It's not on any other pipe by Mr. Brook. And it has no connection to Mr. Kuzmanek or Przemysl, I guess. Maybe I will find out. Since if everything works out, I'm going to visit Przemysl this year. The head. The black coating, pre-carbonized, as the Brook company calls it, red stained briar. If you take a careful look, you see it has a spot here that was filled up. A medium sized bowl, I would guess. I would say, if you give me a second, I will show you the pipe disassembled. So here we go. 
as I said, the horn bit is screwed onto the stem and I do not remove it unless it is really, really needed to. Because I don't know how the threads are made and if they might get damaged from opening it up all the time. A uh, wooden tenon. This metal stinger was added by myself. It was not original. I just like the little reduced draw of this item. The razor wire. The stem is just stuck in here. There are no threads. The bowl is also just stuck in. In theory, you could smoke right out of the razor wire. Maybe you can use it as a cigar holder, as it was done in the days of old. The bowl, just stuck on top of it. You might not see it because it has been smoked a couple of times, it darkened, but it has some fills on the bottom here. Yeah, the pipe is very reasonable priced, especially when you consider that it consists of at least four parts, five parts if you take the decoration into account. And for a pipe company, such pipes are difficult to manufacture. So the price is very okay and you have to accept that there might be some fills here and there. Now for smoking, this pipe smokes exceptionally well. You get a cool dry smoke out of it. It has the perfect draw, really excellent. I used to fill the reservoir with uh, Meersham granulate. You can use these uh, filtering crystals by Dini Kotea if you like. And I would recommend to anyone smoking a pipe with a razor bar or that has a drilling on the bottom to use some filtering material down here because the smoke goes straight down and a lot of dirt accumulates down here. When you use filter granulate, the bowl remains much cleaner. So now I'm going to assemble the pipe once more. So again, you see the pipe in all its glory. When you take a look at the pictures on the website, the pipe appears much larger than it actually is. As you see, this is a standard size pipe sock and the pipe fits inside. So in theory, you can pack this pipe and take it with you. But of course, it's rather a pipe to smoke at home or on special occasions. But as I said, it smokes very well. It is very, very reasonably priced. It has some historical on it through the name they gave to this pipe model. Yeah, I guess that's all I could say. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next episode of The Green Table when we will continue with the vintage and retro pipe series. Have a great weekend. Cheers.